So straight off the bat guys, take this with a pinch of salt. I saw this somewhat six, seven hours ago. Wasn't going to cover it, but it's picked up quite a lot of, uh, well, steam. I mean, I saw Forbes covered it, a few other quite big gaming sources covered this. So I thought, you know what? I may as well bring it to you guys who still follow me for CDPRs, Cyberpunk 2077. So let's go. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so a supposed leak of the Cyberpunk 2077 1.5 patch or update dropped on 4chan earlier today. 4chan is a place we see a lot of leaks drop to, some of these are legit, some of them completely false. And this is just another one of those things and like i said take it with a pinch of salt because you just never know okay so let's just basically cover the leak and then talk about it after so you can see it on screen now this is actually taken directly from 4chan i do believe um it was sent to me by my pal on discord uh, so let's get into it cyberpunk next gen patch the 1.5 will be treated as a soft relaunch for the game game will be renamed cyberpunk 2077 samurai Edition. Now, I don't really know how to take this or put it into perspective. It's an interesting one, but I mean, they relaunch, well, soft relaunch of the game for that next gen. I wouldn't be, it kind of sounds daft to me, but it's so daft, it's probably something CDPR would go and indeed do. They want to soft relaunch their game to get a lot more hype surrounding it. So this could be, I mean, it could be something we look back on in a couple months from now and think, actually, you know what? That leak was legit. OK, so it also says CDPR will do a big live stream around February to reveal the patch, the cyberpunk anime and the first expansion. Pretty cool. We do know expansions are coming for the game. We also do know a next gen update is coming for the game, hopefully this year, 2022. I mean, we were supposed to have got it last year, but that was a, a fail. So new patch features barbershops, a garage, improved AI, a transmog system, sounds good. A complete rebalancing of the loot system and new UI. Okay. The promised free DLC will be bundled in and includes four new weapons, new game plus, apartment customization, and new gigs. I mean, uh, anyone could have put this together, let's be honest. It's kind of what we'd expect from a DLC for the game. Tons of small stuff like Judy and Panem sending you more text messages during the course of the game. Okay, cool. First expansion takes place in Pacifica which is actually quite huge, uh, Pacifica or the expansion. Well, we'll have to wait and see. You walk around and do quests in what is called the combat zone. Now, I have heard of combat zone before. I'm not sure where that's from. I mean, I haven't covered Cyberpunk in quite a while now. It could have been something I've heard in the past. I don't, I don't know, people. I don't know. The combat zone is being fought over by two new gangs. The Bozos, violent clown psychopaths with a sick sense of humour and a gang called the Slower House. Violent psychopath fascists. Now, the Bozos is obviously going to be in reference to uh, Ozod, the clown. I'm pretty sure he does say something about this. Or Bozos could be the name of the mission. I'm, I, people, I can't remember. It's been so long since I played this game. But we do know he is a clown with a grenade on his face. Pretty badass character. Should have been used more than just that side mission. And that, uh, is it a bit on the bush mission? I'm pretty sure it is. You have to fight him somewhere on later on in the game. I believe you do. Walking around a combat zone feels very inspired by the game stalker mm, that is interesting cyberpunk will get its own gwent like mini game which involves going to cyberspace and controlling and collecting monsters which you can send to jrpg like battles and has multiplayer well that is interesting one of the monsters looks like the reaper another one i saw looks like an oni okay the cyberpunk anime called Cyberpunk 2077 Edge Runners is made by Studio Trigger with writing and story made by CDPI themselves. It looks absolutely insane. Better 2D animation that reminds me of Akira. Well, that is interesting. It really is. Another expansion is in the early stages of planning, but will only be released if the first expansion is a success. 
and that's what we have well that was what was sent to me either way now we'll state i mean what we are seeing here does sound interesting but i mean i could have written this myself people anyone of you guys could have written this just to get the the hype train going i know a lot of uh, publishers have done this in the past where they purposely drop a few leaks or get a few leaks out there to build hype around their game then deny those leaks and a lot of these things i've seen actually come to truth in the past so we just never know I mean, but this does sound interesting. Like I said, there's no doubt CDPR will come forth and say this is utter BS or something along the lines of it doesn't make sense. But let's remember the company that we are working with here, people. But yes, I'm going to leave you at that. Tell me your thoughts down below within that comment section. If you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one.